Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be discussing the second feature film that Hanna-Barbera released, and it was a spin-off of uh, the Flintstones TV series, which uh, premiered in 1960. Now, this film was the film that would cap it off and kind of um, wrap things up. It was the second feature film released in 1966, just after, hey there, it's Yogi Bear in 1964. Now, this film basically stars Fred Flintstone as the main man, and uh, it has a plot that loosely resembles uh, the James Bond film series. Now, in this film, we get to see uh, a secret agent, Rock Slag, who is physically identical to Fred Flintstone. Now, at the beginning of the film, he's injured and hospitalized, and as this is happening, uh, Fred Flintstone and uh, Wilma are planning to go on a camping trip with Barney and Betty, and when Fred crashes Barney's car, they have to make a trip to the hospital where uh, Rock Slag, the identical uh, secret agent, is recovering. And uh, in that time frame, uh, he, Fred Flintstone runs into Chief Boulder of the Secret Service, who uh, basically insists that Fred takes the place of Rock Slag, and uh, he travels to Paris for a secret assignment. Now, his mission is to meet uh, Tanya, the number one female uh, lieutenant of the master uh, criminal Green Goose, and that is our villain in the film. Now, in this film, uh, Fred and uh, Wilma travel with Betty and Barney, and it is up to Fred to complete this mission. Now, I don't want to spoil this film, but I will tell you what I did like about it, and I'll tell you what I didn't like about it. Now, this film is um, was fairly long for a cartoon. It was 88 minutes long, and um, I like the fact that they did continue on the uh, uh, plot and a lot of the characters from the uh, actual television series did make an appearance. The only thing that I didn't like was the fact that uh, some of the supporting characters, which were the uh, villains in the film, didn't really make an impact. Uh, they were kind of, um, how would I put this in a nice way, um, kind of loose. So they were there at the beginning, the henchmen, and then they'd appear throughout the uh, the film. But um, the main villain, I felt, um, needed a little more screen time. But that's just my opinion. Now, the uh, film was, um, again, released in 1966. And uh, I would rate this film, if I had to give it a rating, a 4 out of 10. I didn't hear about this film until I um, started watching the series. I still haven't finished the actual series, but I thought I'd give the film uh, a chance since I was doing a lot of reviews in the 60s. Now, if you've seen this film, um, then uh, tell me what your thoughts are. If you haven't seen the film, go out there and check it out. I think it's available on YouTube as well. If you like the review, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel to hear about more of the reviews that I'll be doing, or if you have any films you'd like me to review, or you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. But I'll leave it off as that, and I just want to thank everybody for watching the videos, and goodbye until next time.